Hi everyone. Sorry I missed the past three days. I actually slept in. It's stupid of me, but sorry. Um, but today we've only got one game, which is Arrow vs. Mineski. And this is going to be my first time seeing Mineski since the roster change. And honestly, I think this is going to be their first official game that I know of since losing Jay, who was the previous captain. Yes, Nina. This is the previous captain, Jay. Uh, so to analyze Mineski is going to be hard. The current lineup is Joven, Oa, Playhard, Jesse Vash, Jacko, and Paseo playing the coach. There's going to be one team ranked MMR game that they've played since the switch up where we saw the roles being revealed. And this has been confirmed for me by Inma, but it's going to be Oa in the offlane, Jesse Vash playing support with Playhard as well, Jacko on mid, and Joven on carry. So thank you to Inma for giving me the uh, confirmation on that. So while I'm familiar with most of these players, having virtually no information on their play style now makes this a hard bet. Arrow, on the other hand, is still sort of shaky. The last best of three against Invasion, they actually sub Lance out. Um, so I think this is due to him being unable to make it rather than, then, you know, wanting to kick him. Um, but I think Arrow is still going to be a little bit shaky since they're trying to get their new gaming house set up. So only time is going to tell how they will actually settle once they get everything sorted. And while they are looking decidedly stronger by the day, whether or not they will continue their role as a T1 team in the C scene is yet to be shown. The odds are so heavily skewed towards Arrow though at the time of making this video that personally I would only bet small for either team. People are betting towards Arrow most likely due to not knowing the roster changes for Mineski, as well as also only seeing Mineski's past losing streak with Jay. All of the players in Mineski have experience in competitive Dota, and all the strong players in their own right. While I do love Jay's playstyle, as you all know, he was very all or nothing. He either threw the game or carried the game, and Mineski's style is going to be changed abruptly by losing him. Stable players like Jesse Vash, who rarely see making a mistake, he's going to now have his time to shine. And newer blood like Jacko are going to have uh, an ability to show their worth as professional players. I don't believe this bet really belongs at 27 to 73 odds though. Maneski is by no means a weak team, and Arrow is still shaky. As I said, I would either abstain from betting and wait to see how this game goes to see how Maneski are going to perform in future, or bet small on either team. Maneski could surprise many betters tonight with big players, and I would not be surprised if they take a win, assuming they've been training hard behind the scenes. On the other hand, Arrow are fairly strong when they play the best and are improving over time. But if you make good luck, have fun, and I will be doing this bad video daily. I'm sorry about uh, sleeping. <laughs> um, so, bye!